Okay, so we just put in two gallons of E85. Let's go ahead and start it. And it's showing E25. Okay, so we've driven a little bit. It's starting to pull the ethanol, so it's up to E40 when we pulled out of the gas station it was E25 uh, it's currently uh, going up the more you drive as the uh, you know the, the E85 mixes of course it's currently not going up but uh, you did see it during the beginning it went from 39 to 40 and as you drive more we only put in how many gallons did we put in? Two two gallons of B85 into almost a full tank so there there really isn't a lot there but as you can see the ethanol analyzer is working and the tune is adjusting for the added ethanol um, there's no issues no codes um, the car drives fine it doesn't you know I honestly can't tell the difference between um, you know pre-tune and then after tune uh, as opposed to harshness or anything, it's completely smooth. Um, and as we were driving it, as the E or the ethanol content was going up, there was no signs that the car was running hard or rough or anything like that. It's it's running fantastic. Um, see there, it just went up to E41. So it's slowly going up in ethanol, or at least it's um, analyzing that the ethanol content is going up. So when you first put in um, you know, E85, it's going to take a little bit. You're going to have to drive for a while before it starts to hit that sensor. Um, that's not to say that the, uh, there it goes again, so you can see it, it is kind of fluctuating. Um, that's not to say that the tune isn't adjusting even though the content analyzer isn't moving. So I don't see any safety issues with that. But So don't freak out when you put in E85 and the, the uh, sensor doesn't change immediately. So we did have to drive a little bit, not very far, maybe, I don't know, 300 feet before it started changing, so there you go.